In today's exploration, we turn our focus to a significant and controversial work in political literature, The Foundations of Geopolitics, The Geopolitical Future of Russia by Alexander Dugin. This book, published in 1997, has gained notoriety for its profound impact on Russian geopolitical strategy and its far-reaching influence in political circles. We will examine the core ideas Dugin presents, the strategies he suggests for Russia, and the implications these have on the global stage. Alexander Dugin's The Foundations of Geopolitics The geopolitical future of Russia is a comprehensive and strategic blueprint for Russian geopolitical dominance. Spanning over 600 pages, Dugin's book is not a typical narrative. Instead, it serves as an extensive, detailed, and controversial guide for Russian policymakers to assert their country's influence on the global stage in the post-Cold War era. At the core of Dugin's thesis is the concept of geopolitics as the primary lens through which international relations should be viewed. He argues that the fall of the Soviet Union left a vacuum in global power dynamics, presenting Russia with both challenges and opportunities. Dugin sees the world divided between land powers, led by Russia, and sea powers, led by the United States and its allies. He believes that Russia's destiny is to lead a new continental bloc that will challenge the maritime dominance of the West. Dugin's vision for Russia is rooted in the concept of Eurasianism. He proposes that Russia should not only aim to be a European or Asian power, but should embrace its unique position as a Eurasian empire. This involves creating a new political, cultural, and economic space that unites Europe and Asia under Russian leadership. The United States and NATO The book begins with an analysis of the United States, identifying it as Russia's primary geopolitical adversary. Dugin's strategy for dealing with the U.S. involves a multifaceted approach that includes weakening American influence from within and disrupting its alliances, particularly NATO. He suggests that Russia should exploit social and political divisions within the U.S., support isolationist movements, and foster alternative power centers within the country to challenge the federal government's authority. Europe Turning to Europe, Dugin emphasizes the need for Russia to prevent further expansion of the European Union and NATO eastwards. He argues that Russia should seek to create divisions within Europe, weakening the EU and fostering bilateral relationships with key European countries, especially Germany. Dugin sees Germany as a pivotal partner in forming a new continental bloc against American maritime dominance. He envisions a strategic alliance with Germany as central to Russia's geopolitical objectives proposing that Russia should encourage a shift in German foreign policy away from the U.S. and towards a Eurasian alliance. Asia and China In Asia, Dugin focuses on the importance of China as a strategic partner. He proposes a Russia-China alliance as a counterbalance to American influence in Asia. Dugin sees this partnership as essential for establishing a multipolar world order. However, he also warns of the need to maintain a balance of power in Asia, suggesting that Russia should engage with other Asian countries to prevent China from becoming too dominant. The Middle East In the Middle East, Dugin advises that Russia should aim to become a key player, leveraging its position to control energy resources and influence energy routes. He sees the region as crucial for challenging U.S. dominance and proposes that Russia should support regimes and movements that oppose American and Western interests. Dugin advocates for a strategic presence in the region, using it as a base to extend Russian influence in the Mediterranean and beyond. Eastern Europe Dugin views Eastern Europe as a crucial buffer zone that protects Russia from Western encroachment, particularly from NATO and the European Union. His strategy for this region involves a multifaceted approach to ensure these countries either remain within Russia's sphere of influence or at least do not move into the Western orbit. Political influence. Dugin advocates for a strong political presence in Eastern European countries. This includes supporting pro-Russian political parties and movements, influencing local politics to be favorable to Russian interests, and exploiting historical ties and cultural affinities with these nations. Economic leverage. Recognizing the economic vulnerabilities of many Eastern European countries, Dugin suggests that Russia should use its economic power, particularly in energy supply, as a tool of influence. By becoming a key economic partner, Russia could gain significant leverage over the domestic and foreign policies of these countries. Cultural and Ideological Outreach Dugin emphasizes the importance of cultural and ideological ties, advocating for Russia to promote Slavic Brotherhood and Orthodox Christian values. 
he sees these cultural and religious ties as a means to create a sense of common destiny and solidarity against perceived Western cultural and ideological encroachment. Security and Military Presence Dugin does not shy away from proposing a robust military strategy in Eastern Europe. This includes maintaining a strong Russian military presence where possible and supporting sympathetic governments to ensure they do not host NATO forces or infrastructure. Central Asia Central Asia, in Dugin's view, is equally important. This region is seen as a crucial space for Russia's strategic depth and as a barrier against potential threats, especially from the South. Regional Hegemony Dugin posits that Russia must maintain its status as the predominant power in Central Asia. He suggests that Russia should actively work to prevent any form of encroachment by other powers, particularly the United States, China, or Islamic fundamentalist movements. Economic Integration Dugin advocates for closer economic ties with Central Asian countries through projects like infrastructure development and energy cooperation. He sees these economic bonds as a way to keep these countries aligned with Russian interests. Military cooperation. Maintaining a military presence and cooperation in Central Asia is seen as vital. Dugin proposes that Russia should strengthen its military bases in the region, provide military support to friendly governments, and conduct joint exercises to assert its military dominance. Combating extremism. Dugin recognizes the threat of Islamic extremism in the region and suggests that Russia should play a leading role in combating this. He proposes a combination of military, intelligence, and ideological strategies to counter extremist groups and prevent them from gaining a foothold. Cultural and diplomatic efforts. Emphasizing the diversity of Central Asia, Dugin suggests that Russia should engage in robust cultural diplomacy, respecting the unique identities of these countries while fostering a sense of shared interests and values with Russia. Ideology and Culture Throughout the book, Dugin emphasizes the importance of ideology and culture in geopolitics. He advocates for a revival of traditional Russian values and a rejection of Western liberal democracy. Dugin calls for the promotion of a Russian-centric cultural and ideological narrative that supports his vision of a multipolar world order. He sees this cultural shift as essential for rallying domestic support for his geopolitical strategies and for gaining influence in other countries. Global Strategy Dugin's global strategy involves creating a network of alliances and partnerships to counterbalance U.S. and Western influence. He advocates for a flexible approach, suggesting that Russia should be willing to engage with a variety of actors, including states and non-state entities, to achieve its objectives. Dugin's vision is for a world where Russian influence is felt in every region, challenging the existing global order. The UK and Japan Specifically, Dugin views the United Kingdom and Japan as key allies of the United States that need to be isolated or brought into the Eurasian sphere. He suggests a range of tactics, from fostering political movements that challenge the pro-American status quo to exploiting historical grievances and regional conflicts. Dugin's work, while controversial, offers a comprehensive and bold vision for Russian geopolitics. His emphasis on traditionalism, opposition to liberal democracy, and advocacy for a multipolar world order reflect a significant departure from the liberal, U.S.-centric global framework. The book has been both criticized and praised for its detailed strategy and its ideological underpinnings. Critics argue that Dugin's vision promotes authoritarianism and aggressive foreign policy, while supporters see it as a necessary counterbalance to Western dominance. Dugin's influence on Russian politics, particularly under the leadership of Vladimir Putin, has been a subject of much debate. While there are parallels between some of Dugin's suggestions and Russia's foreign policy actions, it's important to note that the relationship between the book's ideas and actual policy is complex and not always direct. The book's impact extends beyond Russia, influencing geopolitical thought worldwide. Its significance lies in its challenge to the existing global order and its promotion of a new vision for international relations. The Foundations of Geopolitics by Alexander Dugin presents a bold and complex vision for Russia's role in the world, influencing both academic and political circles. It offers a critical perspective on global politics and serves as a crucial read for those interested in understanding the dynamics of international relations and the strategies nations might employ to assert their influence. For more insightful analyses and summaries of important political and historical texts, consider subscribing to our channel. We regularly explore influential works that shape our understanding of the world, 
providing detailed summaries and thoughtful analyses to expand your knowledge and perspective. Thank you for joining us in today's exploration, and we look forward to sharing more enlightening content with you in the future.